The Japanese are well known and respected for their superb self-discipline and pursuit of perfection in life. These characteristics of the Japanese people have been cultivated since thousands of years ago, and the art of kabuki is an exemplary of their traits. Kabuki is a traditional form of Japanese theater that originated about four centuries ago. It is known for its stylized acting, elaborate costumes and makeup, and the fact that all roles, including those of women, are taken up by men, referred to as onagata. To me, it's actually a rich, very rich performing arts in terms of how they express everything. They are stylized, but they keep something like, okay, let's say for onagata. So this onagata, they are not imitate a woman. But they are looking for the characteristic of women, expand it, exaggerate and stylize it. So that's the way of how they create some, a skill. When the snow falls, dum, 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 they use a drum to express it. Uh, this kind of thing. I mean, it's in every particular thing, they have their own expression on it. Dr. Wong Oi Min was a graduate from Japan and learned to admire the professionalism that kabuki actors exhibited in their performance. That's why she wants Malaysians, especially performing arts students, to see for themselves this kind of dedication. Along with Japan Foundation Kuala Lumpur and the Faculty of Theatre Aswara, Dr. Wong then helped present a demonstration and performance entitled The Masur and the Thief in conjunction with the Luke East Policy 30th Anniversary. Two kabuki actors, Kiraku Senkawa and Sumizo Hanayagi from the popular contemporary comedy play, explains the ins and outs of the art form. According to them, the term kabuki was used to describe this performing art only after the Meiji period, about a century ago. Based on kanji characters, the word ka, bu, ki means sing, dance and skill respectively. Kabuki wa, uh Kabuki is known as Japanese opera. It's actually a combination from all kinds of art forms. Ka refers to the singing and background music, while Bu does not just refer to the dancing, it also refers to the body expressions from the movement. And Ki refers to the acting, which is the skill of expressions. Makeup is also an integral part of a kabuki performance. Kabuki actors often sport white faces, referred to as shironudi. Features of the face are erased with white paint to give a blank canvas for more vivid portrayals of their characters. I've always been asked, why do we need to use white color to paint over the face? Why not use other colors? The reason is, when kabuki started in 16th century, there was no lighting equipment yet at the time. So kabuki could only be performed during daytime. As such, the kabuki actor's makeup has to stand out among the audiences. So white color has been chosen since then. A good kabuki makeup would turn into an artwork or memento called oshiguma, whereby kabuki actors impress their makeup onto a piece of cloth. According to Kiraku, there is a belief that Oshiguma of Ichika Tanjuro, a famous kabuki actor, is useful in chasing away evil spirits. In terms of costume, kabuki actors would wear different kinds of kabuki kimono to suit various scenarios of the story. If the performance is about ancient times or a dance piece, the actors would dress in gorgeous silk kimono with stunning patterns. But if the performance is about ordinary living, the actors will simply dress in normal wear. Kabuki kimono is not easy to wear because of its many layers and strings that need to be tied up tightly. A piece of kimono can also weigh up to 20 kilograms, while the wig can be up to 8. Hence, a good measure on the skill of a kabuki actor is how pliable he moves in such heavy costume. Yeah. Unlike other performing arts, Kabuki is strictly inherited in the family. All kabuki actors are trained since three or four years old, and the same goes for Kiraku and Sumizo. It's nothing complicated. What we've learned is, basically, how to stand up or sit down, and some basic dance movements. All these basic things can be trained, even when we were kids. So it's not that complicated. When I was still a student, I watched a dance called Sage Musume by the most popular onagata actor, Bando Tamasaburo. His performance moved me, and from that moment on, I decided to become a professional actor. 
For Kiraku and Sumizo, kabuki has become a part of their lives. But their success today did not come without going through some tough times. The hardest time for me is actually not just one instance, but it's the years of training. I spent another six years after my master to become a professional kabuki actor to perform here and there. This is the first time for me to perform abroad, so how I could convey the feelings of Japan and to draw kabuki to more audiences would be my main challenges. The drive to introduce the art form to the rest of the world is greatly boosted by UNESCO's announcement of designating kabuki as an intangible cultural heritage in 2005. The announcement brought new hope to the preservation of this Japanese traditional performing art form. The biggest problem in preserving the tradition is the lack of people who are willing to pass it on to the next generation. As for myself, I graduated from Academy of National Theatre, which is an institute that is trying hard to preserve kabuki theatre by offering kabuki courses. This is one of the things that they are doing right now. After being designated by UNESCO, our government has been giving financial support to all the kabuki theatres, including the cost for costumes and set making, as well as the salaries for kabuki actors. For Kiraku and Sumizo, becoming a kabuki actor is not just fate, but it's also because of their love for the art and the joy it brings them when they are on stage. I like to perform. I feel happy to perform on stage. I don't find myself as a kabuki preserver, but I just love to do this. I'm just lucky and happy to be a paid actor that I can live with things that I like to do. I fell in love with kabuki and I was moved by this art and culture. I really love to be a kabuki actor and that's why I'm still doing it right now. And indeed, Kiraku and Sumizo's flawless kabuki performance proves their love for the art form and truly reflect their attitude towards life. <laughs>